Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It's good to be back. Uh, we're going to get another Tank Davis and his record-setting gate uh, this weekend at the Capital One Arena in Washington, D.C. But before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow uh, 3D Boxing on all forms of social media. Uh, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Please also subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, on YouTube. All proceeds from that channel go to Autism Research and Recovery. Um, or... It, that channel is completely dedicated to Texas boxing. Um, quick hits comes up to you every day, eight to ten minutes a day. We'll be back later today with another show, uh, perhaps on this channel. On the other channel is going to be Errol Spence, Keith Thurman News. Uh, but let's get into today's this show. Tank Davis, record-setting gate, $5 million gate, um, and a fight that is supposed to be a tune-up fight, right? In a way, I, I said Hector Garcia is not really a tune-up. It's a good opponent. Fight was a good fight. Hector Garcia was doing well. The judges were all over it. Well, no, they weren't all over the place. They were uh, consistently wrong in having it one-sided for Davis. That's not how anyone actually saw the fight. Everyone had it as a competitive fight. Um, and then, you know, Garcia couldn't see. Fight was over. Um, but let's get into the gate. I mean, this is great news, right? Because we have the Tank Davis versus Ryan Garcia fight coming up. Um, and, you know, it, it was kind of like, okay, Tank's the better fighter, but Ryan's the bigger star. Man, is he? I mean, he did a good gate at San, in San Antonio, which is not his home. Wasn't, five million, wasn't a $5 million gate. All right. I mean, this is, a, this is a massive gate. A $5 million gate is a massive gate. It's huge. Um, I mean, this is big. This is really, really big. And it kind of speaks to the star power of Tank Davis. All right, the Capital One Arena is is the home to the Washington Wizards. And I don't know, is there a hockey team there? I'm guessing. Is there a Washington, any, any, is there a Washington, D.C.? The D.C. Frozen Pucks or something? I, I don't know anything about hockey. Is there a hockey team that plays there? I, 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 not acting dumb. I, I legitimately don't know. But it's the home of the Washington Wizards. Um, they played there for a quarter of a century now, since nineteen eighty-seven. And this is the biggest gate there. They've had playoff games there. Uh, ever have East? I don't think they've ever had an Eastern Conference playoff game. But you know they've had uh, you know playoff games there, and nothing is outdone what Tank has done. It's big. That's really big. And you know Tank is from Baltimore. He's not from DC, right? I don't know, forty-five minutes, an hour away. I guess about an hour away. So it's not that far. But it's not his home either. He's not from DC. He's from Baltimore. So you know it's his area, but it's not his home. Um, and he was still able to do a $5 million gate. That is massive. That is huge. We've seen him do big gates in uh, Atlanta. We've seen him do big gates he now here. And then obviously you put him in the big boxing cities, you know, New York um, and L.A. I don't know if they fought any big fights in L.A. and, and in Vegas. He's going to sell there too. So, you know, like I said, the, the kind of hunt, the kind of inkling was that Ryan Garcia is the biggest star, but Tank Davis is the better fighter. Is Ryan Garcia the biggest star? Kind of debatable at this point, right? Like, I, I don't know. Ryan Garcia can't do that. He had a great, great showing in San Antonio, but not not five million dollar gate. So I mean, um, you know, the fight's agreed upon. It's going to happen in April, from what I'm understanding. Like, it, it's next. It's going to happen. So we're going to see. Um, and I, I, I wonder if Tank Davis tries to get a bigger split now of the pay per view. They're saying it's done, but is it done? Done. Right, like when this comes in, does this tank try to? Is it signed? Is everything signed? Is it a legal document or is it a legal document pending? Right, like I don't know. Right, like there's been no official announcement, but everyone's saying it's done. Well, done doesn't mean done until the ink is dry. Right, so um, I'm wondering if this, you know, huge gate, and we're going to see the pay per view number in the next couple of days, if it's really good, which I'm expecting it's going to be good. Boxing Twitter was ablaze talking about this fight. Um, so I'm interested to see what I, I, I thought it was going to bomb as a pay-per-view. I come confident in saying I'm going to be wrong about that. It's going to do a much bigger number than I expected. Um, but this is going to be a big number. 
And it makes the Ryan Garcia fight more profitable. It makes it a bigger money fight. Uh, it's, a, it's great. You know, you got a huge, you know, the huge money division now, the 135-pound division, although this may be at some catch weight in between. We're going to see. But you have Ryan Garcia and Tank Davis, um, two huge names fighting each other in their prime. Or Ryan Garcia is almost in his prime. He's, you know, he's starting to get to his peak. Davis is at his peak. Um, so it's a great fight at a great time. And now it's between two, not just great fighters, but two stars, two superstars of the sport. You know, and after a $5 million gate, we can say Tank Davis is a star. So do, do, is this great? You know, does this, do we go right into the Ryan Garcia fight now? Or does this kind of add a, a hiccup now? Uh, does Tank Davis demand more money? I'm a star. I want a bigger split. You know, if the contract is signed, it's signed. I don't know that it is. I don't know that it isn't. Um, but if it's not, <laughs> I mean, Tank Davis would be ridiculous not to ask for more money, not to ask for a bigger split. Not If Tank Davis isn't getting 50-50 and he needs to go get 50-50 or more, um, but I, I think we're going to wait. He's going to wait and, and slow play to see what the pay number is because I think it's going to be better than we're, we're expecting. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm expecting, you know, Tank to – this number to come in and, and, and possibly – for, for Tank to say, you know, actually, no, um, I want a bigger split. But we'll see. Um, do you think he should, you know, with the $5 million gate, do you think Tank should ask for, uh, uh, you know, the lion's share of the purse or at least a 50-50 purse? I mean, is there any argument at all that Ryan Garcia is a bigger star who deserves more, you know, the, the bigger the bigger, the bigger pot? Um, you know, Ryan Garcia has done big numbers too, but I, I would say if anything, this is a 50, 50 pot, right? And I, I don't know if it is, I don't know what they've agreed upon, uh, but let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Um, who do you think deserves the bigger lion share, the, the lion share of the pot? And, and do you think tank is going to try to renegotiate after these, uh, after this big, big number, uh, leave your thoughts, comments below, please like, share and subscribe, follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing blog on all forms of social media. Uh, quick hits come to you every day, eight to 10 minutes a day. We'll be back later. Uh, today, do another show. That's what it's this channel, the other channel. Um, and please subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube, Texas Boxing Scene. Uh, it is, what does it say, January 10th, 2023. From Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.